Hey Pixels! Welcome back to part two in this two-part tutorial series on how to design and prototype a photo editing app. In part two, we'll bring our app to life by prototyping it using the latest features in Adobe XD. If you haven't already, be sure to watch part one to see how we designed this app. After we designed all the components that make up the app, I went ahead and cleaned up my layers panel. This includes cleaning up the layer order and renaming layers. More importantly, I made sure that each photo in the gallery has its own unique layer name. There's a really handy plugin in XD called Rename It that allows you to easily rename multiple layers. We also need to make sure that the photo we're editing has the same layer name on all artboards. If not, Auto Animate in Adobe XD won't work. The layers are organized, now we can begin prototyping our app. The first action that will prototype is opening and closing a photo in the photo editor. To do this, we'll first hide the intensity slider behind the photo. You'll need to make sure that the slider is below the photo in terms of layer order in the layers panel. We'll also move the apply filter component on the artboard. You'll know it's on the artboard when it's translucent. Note the layer order for this object is on top of the editing tools. Then we'll switch to prototype mode. With the photo that we're editing selected in the home artboard, we'll wire it to the edit artboard. In the interactions panel, we'll set the trigger to tap, action to auto animate, and duration to 0.3 seconds. Then we'll select the close icon and wire it to the home artboard with the same interaction settings. Now let's preview this interaction by hitting Command or Control Enter on the keyboard. The second action we'll prototype is selecting a filter. First, we'll select the edit artboard and duplicate it by hitting Command or Control D on the keyboard. Then we'll select the blue filter and color the label yellow. That way we indicate to users that this filter is the option currently selected. We'll then color the normal filter label white to indicate to users that the filter is now deselected. Now we'll switch to prototype mode. On the first edit artboard, we'll select the blue filter and wire it to the second edit artboard. In the interactions panel, we'll set the trigger to tap, action to auto animate and duration to 0.3 seconds. On the second edit artboard, we'll select the normal filter and wire it to the first edit artboard. Now let's preview this interaction by hitting command or control enter on the keyboard. The third action we'll prototype is adjusting the filter intensity. For this action, we'll duplicate the last edit artboard by hitting command or control D on the keyboard. We'll then select the photo, duplicate it and then copy the blue filter layer styles. So in the appearance panel, we'll need to color the layer blue and then apply the color burn blend mode to the object's layer. Now we'll move the position of the intensity slider toggle to the right hand side. Now let's switch to prototype mode. In prototype mode, we'll first select the left slider toggle and wire it to the last edit artboard. We'll set the trigger to drag, action to auto animate, and easing to none. We'll repeat this action to the right slider toggle so that we can drag the slider back and forth. Now let's preview this interaction by hitting command or control enter on the keyboard. The fourth and final action we'll prototype is applying the filter to our image. This one is easy. First, we'll select the last edit artboard and duplicate it by hitting Command or Control D on the keyboard. Then we'll need to hide the intensity slider and apply filter component out of view, but still on the artboard. Now let's switch to prototype mode. First, let's select the checkmark icon on the filter component and wire it to the last edit artboard. We'll set the trigger to tap and duration to 0.3 seconds. Now let's preview this interaction by hitting Command or Control Enter on the keyboard. Before we preview the entire prototype, 
I'll just wire the close icons to the home artboard and I'll also wire the normal filter to the first edit artboard. Now we can preview the entire prototype from start to finish. This is amazing. So that's how you prototype a photo editing app in Adobe XD. Be sure to watch part one if you want to learn how to design this photo editing app. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Subscribe to ExcelPixel for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.